on sound and I got issues. I got The Walking Dead. I have a whole compendium, but I'm just doing issue one for today. The issue one of The Walking Dead comic book. I'm going to do it in the sound story orders. S for story. A for art. L for lettering. A for action. D for drama. So how does The Walking Dead issue one compare? So here is the story. We got Rick. He's a cop. He's copping around. He gets shot, and then he wakes up in a hospital. Nobody's there, but he encounters a whole bunch of zombies. He's like, oh, shit. My family's gone. Where could my family gone? He goes back to his house. A a bunch of encounters of zombies. goes back to his house. He gets hit in the back of the head with a shovel. But actually, there's uh, two people who are still alive. We got a father and a son. And then they're going to his uh, his cop place because they have a bunch of uh, resources there. We got a bunch of guns. We got a bunch of cars there. Uh, we got to go to Atlanta because that's what everyone was being told. We got to go to Atlanta so the government can protect us from all these zombies. We can figure out stuff. And then they both go on their separate ways. And the this story ends of issue one is that Rick goes to... The, the zombie on the side of the road, the one that he saw earlier in the uh, this issue, he shoots it to put it out of his misery, and then he drives off. So that's the story for issue one. I love the pacing. I have to mention how many panels that are drawn really contributes to the pacing of the story. It it Every action that he does is drawn, and there's like nine panels. There's nine, there's nine panels in this one page, and so there's a whole lot of action. There's a whole lot of things that he does. And in the hospital, he just does a lot of, um, there's a lot of nice pacing. It just, it feels like I'm just step with step, step by step with him, and I feel like I'm experiencing the world with Rick. And so I really like this. The art, the art is black and white. And I really like the value work of this, like, a lot. I especially like, I think my, one of my favorite shots is this page flip from him just being shot to Rick in a bed. He's waking up alone. It's like, oh, shit, he's alone. And it really it really emphasizes how alone he is. The, I mentioned the amount of panels really helps with the pacing, but the amount of panels are all, like, evenly detailed. And... There's a proper suspense built up in the composition of the shots. And also, there's just so much zombies. And the zombies are drawn so gruesome and gross. And there's also, here's this page flip with all the fucking zombies. And they're just zombieing around. There's so many of them. And they're so gruesome. And it's Rick's first time encountering zombies. I'm like, oh, this is so gross. And the way that the art is drawn... It's really gross. So I'm also grossed out as Rick is also grossed out. So I really like the the art style here. I do like there are some moments where uh, it's the background is omitted. Like right here, oh, right here, and right here. We got some sky shots. He's just, uh, he's just, he's got the sky behind him. So nothing needs to really be drawn. But I do like... The it seems like they've got some stat pages here where he's just uh, riding on the side of the road and he's picking up this bike. And it's like in this one particular location, I really like it. the amount of detail introduced into just setting up the the barren wasteland of it all. It's just so beautiful. There's so much detail. I'm like, wow, I just, I just, I love this art. It makes me feel like I'm encompassed. And all of this, I would say a lot of the art is heavy and just in the panels, except for this, when he gets hit in the back of the shovel. Then it's like, oh, we're breaking the panels. We don't even have to worry about margins here. We're breaking the panel. And and then, bam, he's, he's back in bed. And I do like the, like, when we're going into darkness, I do like the uh, the dark the background, so it's like we're going into a um, a dark garage and we're turning on the light. I really like that addition. Just overall, the amount of detail in this is beautiful. I love the detail in the art. The lettering, you know, I was reading this, I was like, wow. The lettering, 
the way that uh, some of the bubbles op- uh, occur, especially when we have a uh, Darius and we have um, Darius, sorry, Morgan, and then who the fuck? Why did I say Darius? It's Dwayne and Morgan. D- Morgan is the older, uh, older guy that discovered Rick, uh, and and Dwayne is the little kid who hits Rick with the back of the shovel in the back of the head. So whenever they're talking, I really, really like the the flow of the bubbles. It, it the placement of the bubbles really um, help with the order in which they're speaking. Like we literally have bubbles in between panels and whenever it's just like a character speaking, like Rick is speaking and then like whatever he's saying uh, continues within the next panel. It's like, oh, it's a nice conversational flow. Like this, the, the bubbling, very easy to read, great conversational flow. I love it. It's not distracting at all, honestly. And whenever someone's, yelling we got a double outline it's like look out it's in bold and a double outline so it's like more emphasized like yo you gotta look out and he's like he's yelling and automatopoeia there's so much automatopoeia with every action whenever there's like an action like a gunshot or taking an axe out of like a zombie's head or like the the shovel always an automatopoeia it's beautiful the action, say the action is more so when he gets out of, uh, when he's in the hospital and he opens the cafeteria doors. First part of the action is when a bunch of the zombies just come on onto him, but then he has to close that door quickly. And then the second part of the action, very, very, very little action, is when he gets hit in the back of the shovel, like two panels. And then the third part of the action is. He's about to shoot a zombie, but it's like, hey, no, stop. No, you have to conserve your bullets. And then he ends up shooting a zombie anyway. Uh, He has no reason to waste this bullet, waste this bullet on the zombie whatsoever. He just, he just does it because he feels like he has to put it out of his misery. So in this one, there's not a ton of action. And also, but the very beginning, there is an action because there's a guy who is escaped prison and is shooting him and his friend and ends up shooting Rick in the chest. That's why he's in a coma in the first place. So there's that opening sequence that's actiony. But the drama here, the drama is Rick being alone. He is alone. There's nobody around him to help him. No, there's no nurses coming to his aid. And then it's it's kind of, I'd say it's really dramatic. Just the amount of zombies and him just trying to escape from the zombies and also just his loneliness. His loneliness is pretty dramatic. It's, it's, it's accentuated with how many panels there are of him drawn on a page and it's just like so many empty pages of him just there. It's just him. And then he goes to his house and he, there's his family's not there. It's also pretty dramatic and sad. This this is very much like a human condition a book. Immediately, first issue, looks at the human condition. Rick is scared. He's super duper scared. Then, yeah, there's not like a, a there's no conflict between uh, there's no conflict between uh, Rick and Morgan whatsoever. I mean, Rick is like, okay, I'm gonna help you out. Let's go to the police station. And we have I do like. Morgan is like, I don't really feel comfortable, but, you know, I'm going to give you a bunch of justifications on why we should need your help. And then Rick's like, just don't stop. Okay, just bring back the police car whenever this is all dealt with. And I'm like, this is never going to be dealt with, dude. This is some heavy foreshadowing here. And then the drama, I'd say, is definitely the loneliness that Rick feels. So, I the story, the story is a solid five. The art is a solid four. Actions a solid. F- I'd say the actions like actually like a three, but the drama is a five, and the lettering is to five. So what the fuck did I give that? All right, so 
S is S is five, A is four, L is five, A is three, and D is five. Oh boy, math is not my speciality. Fifteen plus seven. What is that? Twenty-two. <laughs> What the fuck? Why are you making them watch you do math? Uh, because you won't do the math quickly for me. Yeah, that's why I do math. I hope I did the math right. Well, so that's a 22 out of 25. If you like this review, watch another one on the platform really likes that I do daily move reviews. YouTube.com slash ASU presents. Help the daily grindiness of all them daily move reviews. And also these comic book reviews at my link tree. Link to r.ee slash titsman salad. And I'll see y'all tomorrow for another comic book review. Wait, are you going to start releasing these daily? That'd be so meta. That'd be so meta, but also really hard for me to do. That'd be you'd be doing a good job. Oh, yeah.